This is the wood of the cross from which come the Saviour of the world. Come, let us worship. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. My people, what wrong have I done you? What good have I not done for you? Listen to me. I am your creator, Lord of the universe. I have entrusted this world to you, but you have created the means to destroy it. My people, what wrong have I done to you? What good have I not done for you? Listen to me. I made you in my image, but you have degraded body and spirit and marred the image of your God. You have deserted me and turned your backs on me. My people, what wrong have I done to you? What good have I not done for you? Listen to me. I have filled the earth with all that you need, so that you might serve and care for one another as I have cared for you but you have cared only to serve your own wealth and power. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. My people, what wrong have I done to you? What good have I not done for you? Listen to me. I made my children of one blood to live in families rejoicing in one another, but you have embittered the races and divided the nations. My people, what wrong have I done to you? What good have I not done for you? Listen to me. I commanded you to love your neighbour as yourself, to love and forgive even your enemies, but you have made vengeance your rule and hate your guide. My people, what wrong have I done to you? What good have I not done for you? Listen to me. In the fullness of time, I sent you my Son, that in him you might know me, and through him find life and peace. But you put him to death on a cross. Holy God, holy and strong, holy and immortal, have mercy upon us. Turn again, my people. Listen to me. Father, hear our prayer and forgive us, and stop our ears, that we may receive the gospel of the cross, lighten our eyes, that we may see your glory in the face of your Son. Penetrate our minds, that your truth may make us whole. Irradiate our hearts with your love, that we may love one another for Christ's sake. Father, forgive us. Let us pray, dear friends, for the whole Holy Church of God throughout the world, that God the Almighty Father guide it and gather it together so that we may worship him in peace and tranquility. Almighty and eternal God, you have shown your glory to all nations in Christ your Son. Guide the work of your church. Help it to persevere in faith. Proclaim your name and bring your salvation to people everywhere. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for Justin Archbishop of Canterbury, Norman our Bishop, all priests, for all bishops, priests and deacons, and for all those who have a special ministry in the church, and for all God's people. Almighty and eternal God, your spirit guides the church and makes it holy. Listen to our prayers and help each of us 
in our own vocation to do your work more faithfully. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for those preparing for baptism and confirmation, that God, in his mercy, make them responsive to his love, forgive their sins through the waters of new birth, and give them life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Almighty and eternal God, you continually bless your church with new members. Increase the faith and understanding of those among us preparing for baptism. Give them a new birth in these living waters and make them members of your chosen family. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for all our brothers and sisters who share our faith in Jesus Christ, that God may gather and keep together in one church all those who seek the truth with sincerity. Almighty and eternal God, you keep together those you have united. Look kindly on all who follow Jesus your Son. We are all consecrated to you by our common baptism. Make us one in the fullness of faith, and keep us one in the fellowship of love. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray for the Jewish people, the first to hear the word of God, that they may continue to grow in love of his name, and in faithfulness to his covenant. Almighty and eternal God, long ago you gave your promise to Abraham and his prosperity. Listen to your church as we pray for that people you first made your own. May arrive at fullness of redemption. We ask this through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray for those who do not believe in Christ, that the light of the Holy Spirit may show you the way to salvation. Almighty and eternal God, enable those who do not acknowledge Christ to find the truth as they walk before you in sincerity of heart. Help us to grow in love for one another, to grasp more fully the mystery of your Godhead, and to become more perfect witnesses of your love in the sight of men. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Let us pray, dear friends, that God the Almighty Father may heal the sick, comfort the dying, give safety to travellers, free those unjustly deprived of liberty, and rid the world of falsehood, hunger and disease. Almighty, ever-living God, you give strength to the weary and new courage to those who have lost heart. Hear the prayers of all who call on you in any trouble, that they may have the joy of receiving your help in their need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we begin the solemn adoration of Christ crucified, let us ask for the prayers and intercession of his mother as we greet her and say together, Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. And now as our Saviour taught us, and so we say together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. And forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. 